but we begin with the intrepid uh, Meg Terrell, who has ready-made uh, soys lately almost every day. We knew the FDA advisory panel was meeting yesterday. Um, I guess because there was no 16-, 17-year-old issues, they got almost unanimous except for an, abs an abstention, Meg, on, on the uh, Moderna vaccine. That's right, Joe. So the vote for the Moderna vaccine last night was 20 yeses, zero noes. One abstention, uh, that one person who abstained essentially uh, thought that instead of emergency use authorization, the uh, vaccine should be given expanded access, which really is just a more limited way of making it available, uh, in his opinion, to more high-risk groups. But really, an endorsement across the board from this panel, no debates about the efficacy of this vaccine, and uh, comments from the, the chair of this committee that this vote shouldn't be compared with Pfizer's in any way because, of course, Pfizer's vote included those 16- and 17-year-olds. And that was really the issue. So the FDA putting out a statement last night saying it's informed Moderna that it'll rapidly work toward finalization and issuance of an emergency use authorization. It's also notified the CDC and Operation Warp Speed so they can execute their plans for timely vaccine distribution. Remember, this is the same statement we got Friday morning on Pfizer and BioNTech's vaccine last week. It came even sooner for Moderna. So maybe we're seeing a faster timeline here uh, for this vaccine. We are going to be waiting to see that emergency use authorization potentially as soon as today. Now, after that comes, the CDC meets this weekend to talk about recommendations for this vaccine. And then next week, 5.9 million doses of Moderna's vaccine will go out across the U.S., joining two more million, two million more doses of Pfizer's vaccine on top of the 2.9 million doses of Pfizer's vaccine that went out this week. Uh, so, Joe, the, the supply is getting out there, healthcare workers, uh, people in nursing homes starting to get vaccinated. And actually, on Sunday, the CDC meets to vote on the next priority groups, essential workers, people with underlying health conditions, people over 65. So that'll be a very interesting one to watch as well. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.